Alright guys, so welcome back to the video on Charlie Tips. We have the Salco Liberty Air 2s and these are my pick for the best like uh, average consumer headphones on the market. I'll explain why, but before we do uh before we get into the video, I'm gonna have to say these were sent to me by Salco and this is just a disclaimer, but they didn't ask me to say anything deteriorating from what my thoughts and opinions actually were, so they wanted me to tell the entire truth and that I will do because that's my job, I'm a reviewer, so yeah, so these are the Salco Liberty Air 2s and I'll explain why these are my top pick for the best average consumer headphones um, and earphones, so, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So as always starting off with design on Liberty Air 2s you get this really nice soft touch material It feels very nice in the hand, it, probably better than the Liberty 2 Pros in my opinion uh, And they just feel very nice, it's very soft uh, matte finish It feels like you're holding a marble, I don't know why but it's, it's matte, matte marble Maybe it's just the kind of texture on it but this does feel such a nice case to hold but moving on, apart from the texture of the case and stuff like that you get uh, this circular um, design at the front uh, you can see the circle right there and this just helps uh, for one handed use when you want to flick open the case if not you can just go yeet and open the case but yeah uh, underneath that is these three indicator LEDs so when you open the case they show the battery percentage you can't really see it uh, because it's quite bright uh, out now but uh, and it's, it's pointing directly to my softbox light which is right here so uh, yeah, you won't be able to see it from here, but I can show some B-roll of it and stuff like that. And this just indicates like how much battery is left, and also um, when it's connected to a device. So, so yeah, that really does um, help out quite a bit sometimes. And also on the bottom, you get the USB-C port, uh, the connection button on the top. You get a Soundcore logo, which actually looks pretty nice. It's like, kind of like a glittery kind of thing looking. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> And um, yeah, so apart from that, on the back you get the hinge design. But yeah, so open this, uh, opening the Sound Call Liberty Air 2s up, you get uh, the Air 2s themselves. So these earbuds, I do have to say, are pretty, pretty well designed. They've got this red uh, ear tip. They've got this ear tip, which is white, and then it fades into a red, and which is a kind of classic Sound Call kind of look. Um, and then you also get uh, like this glossy bit that goes between that and uh, the ear tip, the matte finish. Uh, that this bit goes in your ear, and then you also get uh, matte finish around the rest of the things. And also you get a, a little grey accent in the middle, and also the Soundcore logo within there. And further down you get the mics and also the magnets. Also the magnets are pretty cool because you can just go drop them back in. So overall, I do really like the design of the uh, Liberty Air Twos, and I do think they're a very well designed case. Very portable, but I will go over more that in ergonomics, which we'll talk about right now. So, the ergonomics of the case are actually very, very nice. Uh, this is just, this is very uh, great design for portability in ergonomics. So, you just flick, flick up the hinge, it makes this very nice sound. Mmm. You can listen to that all day. Yeah, so once you've flicked it open, which I've done several times now. Uh, you can see there's magnets on the bottom of the earbuds and you just literally just drag and drop them in. They just slide in pretty easily and you just c close the case after you've finished, which is actually very convenient uh, compared to the Liberty uh, 2 Pros, which I had uh, reviewed before them. And they also do get a lot of earwax because they're less jammed into your ear and on the sides of your ear and stuff like that. So these are uh, pretty drag and drop earbuds. That's why I really like them for the average consumer. Uh, just the ergonomics are actually overall are really nice and I really liked just being able to take them out of my ear instantly and just drop them in the case and flick the hinge back over. Yeah, that's one thing I like about them because if I wanted to um, listen to YouTube and then I'd just go and play my game instantly when I was finding a match, it's just so easy and I've struggled to do that with the Liberty 2 Pros because there's quite a bit more of like a take out spin and then put them in the case process so it's really nice that you get this drag and drop uh, kind of feel and it, i give it a pretty good 10 out of 10 for that kind of thing uh, i wish the, the magnets should be a bit stronger hopefully uh, in the next uh, Liberty air threes if they ever come out with them we also need to talk about uh, the fit in the pants they fit very nicely so they fit in pretty much in your pocket but yeah so this uh, does fit in all them kind of situations and it does feel pretty light so you pretty much won't notice these are in here and um, yeah they don't really take up much space so they're very portable and I overall really like the ergonomics I just think this is one of the biggest selling points of the Liberty Air 2s. 
Yeah, guys, so that's something that I really like about the uh, Liberty Air 2s, just like the drag and drop kind of nature, and just, I really do think that's one of the biggest selling points of these, just being able to get them out of the case and just listen to music instantly, and they pair pretty instantly as well. Uh, I didn't think there was really much point of doing a full connection category because it's not really, um, the connection's pretty good, I'm just going to include it right here. Uh, the connection, uh, you just have to press this little button on the bottom and that uh, shows up as a device on your Bluetooth and then in your Bluetooth settings and then once you go to use it again you never have to press that button, you just take them out and listen to music. Uh, so it's a pretty easy setup process, even though it's rated I think for 100 meters if I'm mistaken, uh, I don't know exactly the number but that's what it was on the Liberty 2 Pro so I'm just going to go with that number. I usually get around uh, maybe 30 meters so yeah that that uh, measurement ain't true but uh, but yeah I do have, I do live pretty high up and usually leave my earbuds in here and then I listen to them downstairs so uh, that actually gets me pretty good, pretty well through uh, the day just uh, if I'm just leaving uh, the case in here and my phone's up here and I'm just listening to stuff downstairs it really does actually reach pretty far so I don't have any problems with that kind of connectivity kind of thing. Uh, so now we'll move on to battery life. So the earbuds themselves have a 7 hour battery life with 21 hours added on when you factor in the case battery life. So this gets you 3 uh, this gets you three charges of the earbuds, um, 3 full charges. So once the uh, case itself is fully charged up and I... And I gave my granddad these earbuds for two weeks just because I wanted to get more of an opinion of everyone else and my da granddad actually never ran out of charge ever <laughs> on these so that tells you something. Um, he did plug them in quite a lot but because he doesn't have a wireless charger but uh, it still got him through uh, all the days and he never actually ran out of battery and he just listened to a bit of the radio for quite a while so you know it's not extremely heavy use but you can't really get heavy use in audio I don't think. So yeah that's the battery life but as far as charging goes you get USB-C charging uh, and you also get wireless charging so that I think they run at the same speed of like maybe I can't remember the exact uh, stat but I think it's 5 to 10 watts and so this gives you every 10 minutes of charging you get around 2 hours of playback so after 25 minutes of charging you should get a full uh, tank uh, to listen to music so I am pretty impressed with the battery life on these it gets me my dad and my granddad through a full day of listening. Uh, my my dad just takes you to the gym uh, when he, whenever he feels like it, and that gets him way through that. So, and uh, listening to the radio for a while, my granddad does, and I listen to quite a lot of YouTube, like maybe like four hours a row of YouTube, and that really just doesn't put a nick in the battery life. So, I do think these are very good for battery life. Um, but now we have the final category. Uh, so we're gonna go with audio quality. So the audio quality. It's pretty decent, I think it's good for the price, but if you are an audiophile, as I say, these for the average consumer, I think the average consumer will be totally fine with these, like, pretty damn impressed, I think. These are actually some pretty nice sounding earbuds. Looking for that more full uh, feel and that more full bass and stuff like that, and like, less harsh sound when you get to the higher levels, because uh, P's and S's are pretty harsh when you get to the higher levels. Not like amazingly harsh, but it's definitely noticeable, um, although it's not half bad at all really. These do get plenty loud though, although not as loud as the two pros, and I still really do think these get loud enough uh, for pretty much everyone, um, just not as loud as the two pros, so if you like ear bleeding music, go with them over these. Um, but yeah, I do think these are some pretty nice earbuds uh, for the price, and uh, the audio quality is pretty good. Um, nothing to write home about. They've only got 5mm drivers, but they are diamond coated, as they say on the box, uh, which I don't have at the minute because my granddad has it. Um, but uh, yeah, so these have 5mm drivers compared to the 11mm drivers, so you get a, full more, a more full base on the uh, two pros, and they also have actual, actual coaxial. I don't know how to say that. You also, get actual, you also get astral coaxial technology on the two pros, so that also enhances some of the bass and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, obviously you pay more for the extra uh, sound quality on the Liberty Two Pros. You get you pay twenty pound more uh, for the extra sound quality, um, but you also do get uh, better ergonomics on these. So I actually will probably take the better ergonomics over the better sound quality as someone who doesn't listen to an absolute ton of music. I just find that listening to YouTube and other kind of things like that actually fits me pretty well so I actually would take these over the Liberty 2 Pros um, these are probably my favourite 
uh, earbuds that I've like ever seen and listened to. So I've no, never really listened to that many or that many like top end ones. But I do think uh, these guys are one of the best for the. I do think these guys are one of the best for the price. Uh, probably better than AirPods. I mean, sure you get the uh, uh, Apple ecosystem, but I don't really see what. Uh, happens on the Apple ecosystem with the AirPods, so you can maybe get mul multiple device support, which these are missing, uh, but I'm not sure. So, I would literally, these are my recommended for the average person. Get these, uh, I've got a link in the description uh, where you can buy it. It's an affiliate link, so it would help me out if you could buy it from there, and uh, it makes, means that me and Soundcore can team up together and uh, do some more reviews for you guys. So, if you, uh, if you are interested, buy these uh, from the link below. And uh, yeah, so these are my top pick for the best average consumer headphones on the market at the minute. Uh, they sound pretty good. Not amazing, but you know, they're, they're very, very, very passable. And uh, you get custom presets in the app. Uh, I probably should have talked more about the app. And uh, you also get some um, pretty decent call quality compared to the Liberty 2 Pros. And of course, you get the awesome ergonomics, which is a really big selling point for these i actually prefer these over the liberty 2 pros just for that reason uh so yeah uh, if you guys enjoyed this please make sure to like comment subscribe this has been the sound liberty air 2s this has been tech Horrors, and i'll see you next one Bye bye